Billie Eilish may only be a teen, but this young lady has the world at her feet right now. Duh. She's experienced massive success and she's only 17 years old at the time of this recording. It's obvious Billie has a style that's different from your average pop star. Some may say she's a bit of a tomboy, but don't get it twisted, she's still seriously passionate about fashion. Billie says, It's my way of expression without having to use words. Fashion is its own language and I use mine all day, every day. Well, we see you, Billie. It's hard to miss her baggy outfits sweatsuits, bling, and sneakers that she loves so much. Billie is a singer and songwriter, obviously, and she started at a young age. She's from Highland Park, Los Angeles, where she grew up in a musical and artistic family. Her older brother is still her producer. Billie gained a following in 2016 with the release of her song Ocean Eyes, which I totally remember listening to back then. These days, her hit songs are countless, and she has 43.2 million followers on Instagram. She's also been nominated for multiple Grammys and is the youngest artist ever to be nominated for the big four Grammy Awards. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish O'Connell. Billie Eilish. Billie has clearly already made it to the top, but she just keeps climbing, and I think this is only the beginning for her. With what she's achieved so far, her net worth is already estimated at over six million in just a few short years. Seeing as she's not even a grown-up yet, you gotta wonder what does Billie spend all these riches on? I'm sure the girl has a nice savings account for when she gets a house and for all that adulting stuff, but she does treat herself to some nice things too. Like she's even posted pics with this blue McLaren, and these cars go for about 200 k at least. I'm not sure if Billie owns this car, but let's be real, she could afford it. Like I said, Billie does have a unique style. She always rocks designer pieces, so you already know that's not cheap either. But I'll be getting into all that in just a little bit. What What's going on guys, I'm Kara and today we'll be bringing you a list of the most expensive things Billie Eilish owns here for you on Famous Entertainment. And let me tell you, some of these price tags may surprise you. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you never miss out. If you guys like this idea and wanna see some more lists, let me know which celebs I should cover in the comments down below. We do other vids on this channel like house tours, before and afters and more, and we'll link to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys and you can see what I'm up to on there. I don't think my outfits are as cool as Billy's though, but now let's get into this video. Starting off our list at number 10 is one item that Billy owns which is worth $56,000, her diamond necklace. We know Billy rocks a ton of jewelry, but we can often see her wearing this one necklace. She even wore it with her recent Burberry outfit at the AMAs. It's just a bit harder to notice since it's not as flashy as the rest of her bling. Even though it gets hidden underneath her other chains, if you look closely at Billy's outfits, you can see it. Looking online, this necklace is from Bulgari. It's the Slim Serpenti necklace and it's listed at 56 k Now that was definitely an investment. Also from this collection, Billy wore another one of their serpent style necklaces as a crown for a recent magazine shoot. That particular one goes for 325 k but I don't know if she owns that. Next up on the list are Billy's everyday outfits, most of which are sweatsuits. The girl clearly has a thing for sweatsuits, but just because her everyday clothes look comfy and baggy, it doesn't mean they're not fancy. Considering all of the sweats Billy wears are brand name and designer, they're obviously expensive. Billy said about her outfits, The way I dress is very not necessarily feminine or girly or whatever. I don't say, oh I'm gonna wear baggy clothes because it's baggy clothes. It's never like that. I wear what I want to wear. And wear what she wants to wear, she does. We've seen Billy rocking Gucci sweatsuits for example, and usually the pants go for over a grand, and the matching sweater or jacket is usually 2000 or more from this brand. This one outfit would have cost Billy over four grand, not even including the shoes. Whereas this bright colored sweatsuit Billy has on is priced at around 350. This one is on the cheaper side, but it's just one of the many she owns. So aside from that $56,000 necklace Billy loves, she's into other accessories too and piles them on sometimes. The number eight expensive thing Billy spends her money on would have to be her ring collection. Like I said, Billy usually wears so much that it's hard to keep track, but she has some pretty pricey pieces. Some rings Billy owns and wears often include a few by the brand Heart of Bone, like her winged skull ring, baby bunny ring, a bad bunny ring, and a death moth ring, which are all a few hundred each. Billy also wore some expensive rings to the AMAs from the Serpenti line that cost between $6,000 to $28,000 each. Let's just say that the girl's jewelry ain't cheap. Next up, number 7 on our list of Billy's expensive things are her purses and luggage. Some girls are weak for shoes, but I have to say that I'm more of a purse lover, so I always get excited seeing celebrity bag collections. Firstly, Billy obviously needs some nice luggage for all the traveling she does. At least one of her suitcases we know of is from the brand Off-White, 
and it's part of the Virgil Abloh collection. This particular suitcase probably costs Billy around 2k, and I'm sure she has more. Billy often shows off her designer purses, most of which are Gucci. This crossbody bag would cost around 2k, while this bigger Gucci one would probably be around 3,000. What Billy loves even more than purses are fanny packs, or belt bags if you think the word fanny pack is embarrassing. Billy rocks this Gucci fanny pack often, which costs over 600 bucks, and she has a few from the brand MCM, which both cost around five to six hundred dollars. Billy is actually a model for MCM now, and she has her own line, so I'm sure she's getting some complimentary gear from the brand too. For number six, we're talking about Billy's chains. These deserve their own category because it's clear that the girl loves being iced out. Billy wears plenty of bling around her neck and shows it off all the time. Prices of Billy's ice vary because a lot of them are custom. She's worn a bunch of different ones from these Playboy pieces to these Chanel chains, which I'm sure are worth at least a few thousand each. She even went to Icebox Jewelers and got some custom pieces. We're halfway through our list, and next up is Billy's sneaker collection. Billy is definitely a shoe girl, but not exactly the type you'd think. These, I swear to God, they look like sh when I wear them now because they are so far beat up. I've never worn a shoe more than this one. I just love, there's so many elements. The fact that it's yeah. like the laces and the Velcro mm -hmm. and the color and the, like, whew, I don't even, I wear them so much that I sprained my ankle in them once and I kept wearing them. To match with her designer casual style, it looks like Billy's developed a little bit of an addiction to fancy kicks. It's all good though because she earned it. Billy loves sneakers and has plenty of Jordans, Yeezys, Nikes and more. Enough to make any sneakerhead jealous. They range in price but they're all over a hundred bucks at the very least, usually costing a few hundred. Billy has countless pairs and you can easily see when you look at her photos. According to her, she loves her sneakers big and chunky. Billy also wears other designer brands including Balenciagas like these black ones which cost $7.50 and these white and pink ones that go for just under nine bills. Coming in at number four on our list is Billy's motorcycle. Billy posted this photo on her Insta and captioned it saying, it's mine, so one would assume that it's hers. It's not like I've seen her out there driving a motorcycle or anything, but if she does own it, it's definitely something expensive she spent her money on. Personally, sports bikes like the one in her pick freak me out. I prefer something like a Harley or none at all. What about you guys? Anyways, this bike that Billy's posing with looks like it could be a Suzuki, which would probably cost around 10k or just below. We're getting close to the end of our list, and I wanted to dedicate a couple of these to Billy's outfits because if you pay attention, her outfits are really what she spends the most money on. Billy said, I've always been a person that wants to dress loud. I've always wanted people to look up at me. I've always wanted people to notice me. I'm just walking around dressed how I always wanted to, but now there's a name attached to that. So she really does love those loud outfits. One of her most expensive getups was this outfit she rocked for a shoot with Billboard magazine. This Gucci silk shirt cost almost $1,500 alone. The pants were $573 bucks and her sneakers were over $800. Total price of this Billy outfit, $4,600. And that doesn't even include the jewelry. Second to last on the list is going to be another expensive outfit the star wore. Now with all of Billy's crazy getups, I'm not saying she doesn't have other expensive ones, but these are just a couple that cost a lot more than your average. This was another Gucci look that Billy wore for a photo shoot and it cost even more than the last one. The bomber jacket alone cost over 2k and she had the matching shorts on as well. Everything considered, including her jewelry, this outfit cost Billy over 6 grand. Finally, coming in at number 1 on our list is Billy's car, or should I say cars? We know for sure that the star has one car since she posted on her Instagram, which by the looks of it is a Dodge Challenger. I gotta say that I love her taste and I've always wanted a Dodge Challenger. They're just so cool and way cooler than the Chargers for some reason. If I'm right, Billy's car would have cost somewhere around 50K. Obviously, you can find Challengers for less, but I would guess with the type of money Billy has, she could afford the best model and any customization she wanted. We've also seen those pics of her with the McLaren, but like I said, who knows if she owns that car. Some sources online claim that Billy also owns an Audi A4, a Mercedes-Benz SUV, and a BMW i8, but I have yet to see proof. Those i8s cost over 100 grand, I believe, so if this is true, then she has quite the car collection for a 17-year-old. If you guys know more about Billy's car situation, be sure to let me know in the comments. So there you have it, a bunch of expensive things that Billie Eilish owns. I'm sure being a young star with that kind of money, the girl has plenty
plenty more luxury items I didn't mention, but you get the idea. If I missed anything specific, let me know. Since Billy apparently still lives with her family, we'll just have to wait until she buys some of her own real estate and see just how she's living then. I heard her brother slash producer Phineas O'Connell recently just got a new LA home himself in Los Feliz for just under 3 mil. So I'm sure whenever Billy buys her first house, it'll be even fancier than his. Looking at this list, it's obvious that for now the 17 year old is happiest spending her cash on designer outfits, sweatsuits, and bling. Since Billy's only just getting started, I'm sure by next year we'll be able to come up with a bigger and better list of her luxury investments. I want to hear from you guys. What was your favorite thing out of Billy's purchases and was there anything on the list that surprised you? If you haven't noticed, I have a slightly girlier style than Billy, but my personal favorite on the list was her Dodge Challenger. I really do love those cars. If you like these videos, let me know what other lists you'd want to see. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next week with some new vids. Bye!